and now the British government has pulled the broadcast license, which in England is a massive deal. Huge humiliation for GT, uh, CGTV, uh, TN, which is the BBC, the essentially international broadcast arm of the Chinese Communist Party. Dr. Ming, uh, how big a deal is this? And what should the West be warned about this insidious propaganda arm of the Chinese Communist Party? That is very significant. Um, I think this is um, could be considered as a landmark of the regulatory um, um, uh, progress against the uh, Communist Party in the UK. Um, and uh, we have been aware that the CCP's uh, propaganda apparatus is very powerful, yeah? Uh, and actually, CCP considers propaganda as one of, of its vital weapons against the West, against the democracy. And the one is propaganda, the other one is the, the, uh, is the military weapon. So as long as it holds the uh, military weapon, as long as it holds, uh, take controls of the propaganda, it can win. In the uh, Chinese civil war in the 1940s, and now it has won, getting uh, successful to achieve its goal to dominate the world, of course, uh, to uh, beat the USA and beat the uh, Western democracies. So this is a very, very significant. I consider it a regulatory success for the US, uh, UK government. So uh, the UK government has been very, very appeasing to Beijing. Yeah, It has been very, extremely so soft. And uh, but this is a really good sign, and I applaud for that. And uh, I also feel very pleased that days ago, the House of Lords um, have also uh, stood up to um, make an amendment to the Boris Johnson's post uh, uh, Brexit trade bill to say that uh, uh, the UK is uh, should be stopped from making deals with countries that abuse human rights, uh, particularly the Chinese uh, communist regime. That is also grateful and hopefully, yeah, and the House of Commons will also get this uh, amendment passed. So, and that's a great achievement and we prove that. And uh, I think that's really a great step uh, to combat the CCP.